I'm Nicholas Miller, the CEO of Air Patrol Corporation, and I'd like to talk to you today about some of the security threats arising out of the widespread deployment of wireless technology. A lot has been made in the press about the problems that can arise from the use of rogue access points or the use of outdated WEP security. But these problems are really largely addressed today, particularly with the advent of the new WPA security standard. Wireless networks are really very secure indeed if they're properly set up. But there's still a very big security problem that does need to be addressed that is not nearly so well known. And it comes from the use of wireless laptops. Uh, today there are over 300 million wireless laptops in use worldwide, with another 100 million being shipped every year. And they've pretty much taken over uh, as the computer of choice for middle management, uh, because laptop costs have come down so much over the years. So what is this problem and what can be done to address it? The wireless adapter that's built into Windows XP, Vista, and Mac OS X has a feature in it that enables it to remember the name of networks that have been previously connected to and automatically make those connections again whenever those networks are seen. Now this can be turned off, but in the standard default configuration, this is how all of those clients work. So all a hacker has to do is sit in the parking lot outside the building with an inexpensive consumer router perhaps a $40 or $50 Linksys router, connect it to a laptop, give that router the name of a network that laptops inside the building have likely connected to before. So Linksys is a very good one, or in North America, T-Mobile, uh, uh, BT Open Zone in Europe. Call the router that name, broadcast it to the laptops, and all of the laptops that are within range that have ever connected to a network of that name before will then autonomously, automatically connect to that router. Now that happens without the user of the laptop even noticing in many cases. Now you've got a very, very serious security condition because this router has an IP connection to a laptop inside the building that is physically connected to and even authenticated into the corporate network. This is obviously a very, very serious security risk. So what can be done about it? Well, the good news is there's a fairly simple solution. We call it AirSafe. It's a patent pending piece of software technology uh, that is essentially installed on every laptop and it has a very simple function. Whenever that laptop is connected to a wired network, AirSafe automatically disables the wireless adapter. And whenever that laptop is disconnected, AirSafe automatically re-enables the wireless adapter again. So AirSafe completely prevents the condition where a wireless laptop is both connected to a wired network inside an office facility, but is still open to connection to an external wireless network, which is really where this very serious security risk arises. Now, this is a wireless security risk that affects every company, whether or not they have a wireless network. There's a very common uh, uh, preconception in the industry that if you don't have a wireless network, you don't have a wireless security problem. Nothing could be further from the truth. If you have wireless laptops, you potentially are at risk from wireless security. And this is how it can occur. In addition to automatically enabling and disabling the wireless adapter on laptops, AirSafe has another very important piece of functionality, which is particularly applicable in wireless environments. If employees are using a wireless laptop at work, you only want them to connect to the corporate wireless network. You don't want to allow employees to connect while they're at work to perhaps a municipal network outside the office or a network across the street. So with AirSafe, you can name your corporate wireless network, and whenever that network is within range of the wireless laptop, AirSafe limits wireless connectivity to that network. So AirSafe has the dual functionality of making sure that uh, network usage policies that have been enforced on the wireless network cannot be circumvented, and it also prevents, as we call it, wi phishing attacks, which is what I described earlier, essentially somebody sitting outside the building causing a laptop to mistakenly connect uh, or inadvertently connect to their wireless network outside the building. So we feel that for every organization, AirSafe represents the first line of defense against wireless threats and really should be deployed on every laptop in the organization. For more information, please go, go to our website at www.airpatrolcorp.com.
Thanks very much.